Has he put an actual wither in my base? Has he really? It sounds like there's a wither in there. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Thank you for tuning in. And what are we doing today? Well, first of all, you might be wondering why am I not frying to a crisp in amongst all of these high voltage wires? Well, that is thanks to this armor set, the Faraday armor set that We've got the the helmet and everything enchanted with pretty basic enchantments to be honest. I've got the feather falling but everything else has just got the mending and breaking and protection. And this allows us to deal with high voltage wires. They mean nothing anymore. Um, buy crypto, GG. But um, yeah, what have we been doing? Let's have a look around the base because I've been quite busy. We've been working on the power station and right now it's just a big box. It's still just a bit of a big box. We've got a bit of detail and a bit of texture in but apart from that it is still very much a work in progress. I've got a couple of ideas for how we can add some more nice little features onto this building and make it less of just a big square. Um, but this is the main thing that I've been working on. This was just a little side project because I said I would do some work on this. So I needed to do something because I, I can't just keep starting projects and not finishing anything. I do need to finish this build. And by the end of this episode, I will. I've finished it. I promise I will have finished it. Shouldn't have promised, should I? Anyway, this is what we have been working on. It is the... Well, I don't know what to call it yet, but it, these are like garages, I suppose. This one's been bricked up, um, and I'll show you that. That's for a reason. Again, this is very much a work in progress. It doesn't have a roof, that's why. Um, but Emerald Crypto sorted me out with these two little go-karts, or what are they, like uh, ATVs? I don't know. If, uh, yeah, ATVs to test out my little track, because... It is looking pretty sweet now. We've we've got some texture in all well not texture in, we've got some bricks all the way around. We've got a pavement, we have bricks going all the way around, but it still needs texturing, it still needs detailing. We've added a couple of things over here, a couple of fun little things. So like we've I, I tried to make like a little drain or something like that. I don't know whether it's actually working or not. Maybe it needs a little bit more work, um, but I do need to go to bed though, hang on. Where were we? We are coming around here. I mean, it's not the biggest track, it is just a road, but it kind of starts, it's starting to tie the, the whole area together quite nicely. Um, I ran out of bricks. <laughs> I completely ran out of bricks and I've actually completely run out of granite. After building this and this, I completely ran out of granite and that brings me onto this funny looking system so we're using these balloons with the relays because I cheaped out and I didn't want to build a whole load of new um, pylons running over here so I thought this could look quite cool with like these little balloons with the relays running uh, power across the reason that we've got it over here is because this is a igneous rocks vein it's a mineral vein found in the overworld it consists of 30 percent granite which is all i care about 30 percent diorite andesite and 10 percent obsidian so really all i need right now is the granite because that's what most of my base is made out of but i do want to build a, another kind of style of excavator a mobile smaller version of the excavator that we've got over there because i don't fancy making that one every time i want to build an excavator so i'm thinking like a mini little digger a diddy digger if you will a small kind of excavator that is a lot more mobile and we can sort of run it around in this area just off these balloon relays or so that's the idea um obviously completely unrealistic in real life like we can't be running high voltage wires from balloons that are tethered to a moving like digger that would be absolutely ridiculous but this is minecraft and it's immersive engineering so you've got to 
do what you do. And I think this is a, a sort of a decent stopgap between having the full pylons. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see. This is something that I do want to get working on. This was an idea for the size of the sort of tank track that I think we're going to go for for this build. So we'll see how it comes out. Uh, I have an idea in my head whether it will actually come out good. I don't know. We'll see. Look at this. I don't know how good I've got it on multiplayer. But another present from Cookie Dell. A capturing wand. Nice. This takes nether stars to make. Yeah, that's cool. And I've got actually the perfect thing to use this for. Yoink. Oh, baby. They're free. He's lost his name. Ah. Boom. Back. Okay, you have been freed. Alfie. Let's go. Alfie, you go over here. And who else? Mark. Let's go, Mark. Where's the Greater Tune? Anyway, we've saved him. The Greater Tune is free, along with the other guys. They are all free now. And there's something else I need to use this capturing one for. I need to go and find a piglin because I may have killed Clive, the piglin that was drawing all of the Wither Skeletons into the Skeleton Farm, the Wither Skull Farm. Clive V2 lives. There you go, Clive. Clive V2. Okay, that is so much easier using this capturing wand. It is insane. That is so much easier. Hmm, are we with 128 blocks? Probably a bit more of this needs removing, to be honest. Anyway, Clive V2 is back. Hopefully he won't get uh, blazed again. There we go. I thought of another cheeky little use for this capturing wand, so I decided to drop off uh, a few friends at uh, the guy's bases in the form of a friendly neighborhood guardian. So we did one for Cookie Dough, one for Emerald Crypto, which was pretty eventful as he logged in, literally as I was putting it into his base. This one didn't last very long because unfortunately, I didn't realize this was his main bed and he couldn't sleep with the guardian there, which is a shame. But we also tried to do one for Shaft Mac and unfortunately his mine colonies protection basically stopped me from doing anything in his base at all. <laughs> Hello. Um, I just took a break from building to build a mining drill and I unlocked a load of achievements. Unfortunately, my recording wasn't working, so I've had to restart my client and I've lost the chat. But then I was like, oh, well, I'll just have a look at the achievement tabs. I've, I've never been on the achievement tab on this server. And look at all this. Look at all of these different mods that we've got. Um, so I think before we move on to another mod, I do want to completely finish off the advancements for immersive engineering. Um, and we're pretty much there. I'm not going to lie. Like we, we've made the, the multi-block excavator, the silo, the arc furnace, um, the diesel generator. So, and uh, this is one I just made. I made the, the mining drill and then I decked it out. I made a fully decked out mining drill. Apply the maximum upgrades to the mining drill. Big daddy. So that's what I've got here. I haven't actually filled it up yet. Um, let's go and do that now because I've got a little setup down here if we remember where I can fill this up with biodiesel. Shaboying. There we go. And while we're here, we might as well fill up the mining drill as uh, the buzzsaw as well. There we go. Full. Uh, secret project area. There we go. Oh, okay. This is pretty good. I wonder if there's a s no, there's not. Okay, this is what uh, Shaft Mike was saying. There is no um, silk touch upgrade, but look at this. I, I did make this maintenance kit thing. Um, and basically what this allows us to do is it allows us to see and swap out upgrades. So there is some little different things that we can do. So there's this pressurized air tank that I built, which allows us to mine underwater, um, which could be pretty useful, but I, I thought it would be better just to have the internal um, biodiesel tank filled up a bit. So both of these have, Oh, there's a thunderstorm. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. Come on. Where are you? Oh, no, I don't even have my toolbox. Come on. It's raining. It's storming. The old man is 
Snoring. Raiden's trident. Hello. Uh. Hello. What? Why? Has the thunderstorm stopped? No. Did I miss it? I don't know. I think I was talking about what what gear you can put on. So yeah, we could we could change out some stuff to allow us to mine underwater. But we've just got the the large tank, which allows us to fit more biodiesel in it, which I think is the better option. Um, if I really need to do some underwater mining, we, we can swap that in. I can just put it in one of the, one of my chests. I'll put it in the immersive engineering chest. Why not? And we'll just get that out whenever we need it. But that is the mining drill and the buzzsaw fully decked out now. Um, yeah, that, that's the rip and tear is the advancement for applying the maximum upgrades to the buzzsaw and big daddy for the mining drill. Um, so what else have we got here that we need to do? Oh, Aziz Light, one of my favorite films, The Fifth Element. Man, I love that film. Okay, let's make some floodlights. That sounds super cool. Oh, just so you know, this is what my bass sounds like down here. <laughs> without without my helmet and the ear defenders on, it is... Oh. And it just gets louder. Oh, dear. This diesel generator is, is something else. Let's, uh... Oh, so much better. What I've found out with these floodlights is they need to be powered on low-voltage cable. So, ow. Okay, apparently I didn't insulate these. They need to be powered with low voltage cable. Um, and it creates, so it says in the book, it creates a cone of light. Where are we? Cone of light up to 32 blocks long. So you can actually use an engineer. This is pretty cool. Uh, the, the, we can actually change the the way that it rotates incrementally with the hammer as well. Um as well as going up and down, so potentially got some pretty cool uses, but I'm just gonna stick with my current lighting solution at the minute. If I ever want to change, or maybe on another building, I could really think about how to build this into the design, then I might, but currently with my factory the way it is, I'm happy with my lanterns. I do like it though, it is cool, and I do like the incremental changes that you can make with it. That is something that's, that I do really, really like. But, we're not going to be using this right now in the build. I've just upgraded the Wither Skull Farm a bit, because um, it was a little bit cramped before. But, we have just got a basic router going here, just rooting the heads upstairs. But this axe, this Elementium axe called the the Headhunter, it's got Fortune 3 on it. And I think I'm just re like reading that this has given it a 26.9% chance of getting a... Uh, with a scully um, head. So that's like one in four skeletons. But anyway, he sent me another message. I was uh, just messing around here last night when I logged off. And he sent me another message to just log in back to my base. Um, so let's go. Let's see what's going on. Mm, what's in the box? Ready up. I'm sure you'll survive. No, I'm sure you'll live. 83% sure. What? Okay. Seems pretty powerful. Minute and a half. Well, invisibility for eight minutes. Wait, what is this? That wasn't the box? This is... What's, what's in this box? Surely it's not a wither. Has he put an actual wither in my base? Has he really? It sounds like there's a wither in there. Okay. What have we got? Fire resistance? Don't need that. Uh, instant health? That'll be good to have. Haste? Go on then. What's all of this? I'll just take it all. Strength? That'll be good. Jump boost? Yeah, why not? Resistance 2. Okay, I feel like I'm ready. Let's do this! Whoa, this is... What kind of wither is this? Pink wither? What? What? 
What is this? <laughs> Goofy looking wither. What is this? I. Uh, what do I even do with this? What's what? But Britannia. I've got no idea about Britannia. Well. Well, <laughs> that was anticlimactic. What do I do? Do I just let it free? Doesn't seem to be blowing anything up. Oh. What? What's it doing? Ah, uh, this is very, very odd. What does a pink wither do? Okay, maybe I should have searched for this before I just let it out. But it seems pretty harmless. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry for hitting you before then, if you're nice with it. What's the point? What is the point in this? I don't see the purpose. Okay, right, pink wither. Oh, right, the pink wither is an April Fool's joke. Okay, right. Well, so if I'm right, I should be able to lead it places with sugar? Yes? No? Are you stuck in there? <laughs> it's so goofy looking. <laughs> You can ride it! What? <laughs> Why would you... <laughs> Hang on. Wow. Well, this is dumb. You didn't see nothing. Uh, panic. Ah, uh, it keeps going off. What's going on here? Hang on. That can't be a good sign. Flashing red is never a good sign. Oh dear. We're maxing out the power. Hang on. What's going on? Okay, well, looks like we need more cloches making more biodiesel and more generators. We need some backup generators, it appears. Because it's just not cutting it at the minute. We've still got loads of biodiesel here, but no power. Okay. We need some backup generators. Well, I am an absolute derp and I've just realized what the problem is. So look at our usage, 1027. That's just over. Um, what an MV wire connector, MV cable is capable of handling. I've been stressing about how I can produce enough power and I'm producing loads of power, plenty of power. And the reason I know this is because Emerald Crypto has very kindly let me hook up his Quantum Entangler Porter and this thing, well, he's making like 10 million RF per tick. So yeah, just need to upgrade this to an HV cable and it should be good up until the point where we are using more than 4,000 per tick and then we just need to run two of them in. So not a problem, should be easy fix as long as I don't kill myself a load of times. Right, epic. Yeah, that was it. Oh no! <laughs> Emerald Crypto's just fried up on one of my wires. But yeah, that's fixed it. I've just upgraded it to H3 uh, wire connector, H3 relays, H3 cabling, and that's that's perfect. Sorted. So that was it. That was the issue. That I was trying to power it all off an MV cable, and <laughs> and yeah, it hadn't worked. Yeah, it needs his power armor to survive in my base. Oh, this is what I was working on. Um, it's like a shulker box loader using the RS system. Along the top, we have these exporters. Now, I've only got one set up here, but using this regulator upgrade and the crafting upgrade, we can actually keep a constant stock. So on here, I can go on and we can select the amount of blocks that we want to input into our shulker box here. So you can see I've got it set up for 26 steel, nine. This is the perfect materials needed to build one excavator outside. But we can load up a shulker box really easy. And as soon as we take it, we've got this constructor, which will just rebuild a new shulker box into the um into the space that I take it. So if I if I decide right, I want to build an excavator, I can take this. Ah, this this is this is a minor downside to the plan. Did it? Oh dear. Where's it gone? Okay. 
might need some <laughs> might need some work. Um but that's the idea. Have I just got no shulker boxes left in the system? Is that what's happening here? But anyway, you can see here it's slowly I really need to put some speed upgrades in there, man. It's slowly filling up this shulker box. So we've got our full shulker box ready to go with all of our materials needed for an excavator. Uh, down, down, down. What was that? Go to Cowards 18, northeast of your base. Negative 18, 10, 66. Negative 18, 10, 66. Is this it? Take this in your hand and hold right click on the netherrack. Then go and make a cup of tea. Wow, okay. Shard of Laputa. Shard power XX. Take this in your hand and hold right click on the netherrack. Then go and make a cup of tea. Uh, what, what is happening? What's this? What's ha- what? What? What's happening here? Uh, is this supposed to be happening? Cookie dough? There's no one online. Um, I hope this is supposed to be happening. It looks pretty cool. Man, Britannia's crazy. What is this? Is it like making a floating island? Whoa. It does look like it's making a floating island. That's pretty cool. Oh, I might have to get rid of that grass though. That's making me twitch a little bit. Floating grass. Is it done? No, no, it's maybe I just need to be nearby. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Has it, has it finished? Oh my god, look what, what, this is cool as, man, what? Whoa, what, why did, is this a thing? My, the magic mods in Minecraft are insane, I love it. Right, well, what are we going to build up here? We need to build something cool up here now. Hmm, thank you, Cookie Dough, that was, that was, uh, interesting <laughs> I've got to fix this it that's annoying me way more than it should that this water doesn't have a bottom um, need to fi need to fix okay stop looking terrible please oh is this is this his little hint that <laughs> what's gonna happen I suppose yeah okay fair play there we go is that looking better Let's have a look. It is. Okay. That's looking so much better now that I've fixed the water issues and some of the, the issues we had up there. Um, let me just grab some of this grass, fill in this little hole, and I should be satisfied enough to move on. But yeah, we need to think about what we're going to build up there because that's a pretty cool little feature, to be honest. Um, really cool need to think of some way of making this look even better thank you cookie dough that was really cool wow there it is in all its glory diggy inks diddy digger it is looking pretty cool i think it's got a nice bit of detail to it um we've got the tank tracks that we've upgraded from the oak to the archwood over on this build i've kept the oak over there i don't know Maybe I will try the oak just to see if it pops a little bit more and you can see the tank tracks better But I think it's looking pretty cool. We've messed up and textured this area We've got some coarse dirt and some gravel in here. We've got the tank tracks leading up to it um, This is obviously mining our igneous rocks. I should probably be putting some of those around shouldn't I? Um, that would make a bit more sense. But anyway, this is just the topsoil We're just getting through to the to the real good stuff underneath um, but this is looking cool. I do love the way this looks, the 31, um, and I've just tried to replicate that style. 
and going back and I think it looks good from up close and a little bit further away so it's a little bit steampunky um, but I like it I think we might take the base in a little bit more that direction I mean it's starting to become a bit of a mishmash because obviously we've got the go-kart track in here as well but what did I say I wanted to get a bit more detail or I said I would finish this actually didn't I mm. Well, it needs a little bit more work, but um, we've definitely added a good chunk to it and we've got a lot of work done. Um, a lot of fun stuff as well, like this go-kart track. I said I would show you what is behind this bricked up area and it is a simple hopper clock. It powers this starting line that we've got. Basically, this is our starting line. What we can do when we want to start, we can toggle this on and off one time and that will get us ready so everyone can line up here and as soon as it's ready to go it drops down and away you go the race has begun and then it just stays down until you want to activate it again and you toggle it on and off um, but because we've added in or we've been building these go-karts we've been using some diamonds to make the fastest uh, diamond wheel uh, diamond engines and the, we've made some racing wheels we've had to fuel it as well and we run these basically all of the vehicles run on this stuff called fuelium what have we got here so yeah we've got the blaze juice and the ender sap being cooked up and that is being piped into this fluid mixer which uses glowstone dust and coal to make fuelium and then we're storing the fuelium in this industrial fuel drum and we can fuel up our go-karts using this fuel pump which is a really nice animation and then as you get far enough away this brakes goes back to where it, it uh, is supposed to go but these go-karts they are super fun um, I'm hoping to get a few of the boys on and we can have a proper little race um, using these go-karts because they are fun. So hopefully I'll get that recorded for you next time guys. But where are we with everything else? Um, we have a roof on the garages. We have a bit more detail on the power plant and we have the go-kart track pretty much finished. Um, I have gone round using our little exchanging tool um, and I've tidied up, well, uh, just not tidied up, messed up, messed up a lot of this cobble road. Um, still, we probably do with messing up a lot of this stone work, but uh, I'll get round to that. I still need to do something with this area, but I'll have a think about that as well. Um, but until next time, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and take care take it easy and i will see you guys next time